Hey there, folks. We're uh, we're back here in the radiant heat uh, room. I had a request from a viewer to maybe walk through a little bit more detail on how the water heater is supplying uh, the hot water to the the tubes. Uh, basically, what I've got here is it's a Polaris water heater, um, and it is specifically built to be able to accommodate uh, two different sections. So on the top, like, you know, I'll try and point to it up here, that's your normal uh, domestic hot water supply. <clears throat> and uh, that is feeding, you know, this whole labyrinth of, of pipes over here related to distributing the hot water to all the different areas of the house. On the side here, this is what's being used to supply the radiant heat. Now what I have is what's called a closed system. So the water in this tank just circulates um, between that there and you'll see down here at the bottom. Um, and what it's doing is it's circulating through that heat exchanger right there. Um, so if you notice there's a pump right here. That's wired into the same controllers that uh, control the pump for the rest of the the heating runs uh, for the tubes and so whenever there's a call for heat that pump will go on as well as the pump uh, over here supplying yep, you can see it right here uh, supplying all of the floor heating system so once it comes through um, <coughs> that plate oh, you can hear the Polaris go kicking on there once it goes through that plate it's going to come down here <coughs> and it's going to feed it's going to be pulled from this pump here and it's going to come across and i've got two manifolds so here's the bridge right here that goes from the top manifold down to the bottom the hot here is indicated by the red i'll take you up back up here so here's the hot right there and it's going to be pushed through <coughs> And then uh, these are my valves, and when it comes back up, it's going to cycle back through this cold return. And that return is going to come all the way back here and go back up to this side of the, of the heat exchanger. And then what that does is it keeps the floor heat system, or what's known as a closed system. Now I do have a couple of additional components here. So I've got a uh, expansion tank, and that's to... Just take care of the different uh, expansion needs as the water heats up and cools down. And then this right here is a combination backflow preventer as well as a way for me to add additional water into the closed system without allowing that water to back up into the domestic feed. Um, so that's something that uh, the, the gentleman who designed this for me, Fred Seaton, recommended we put on there. And then here I also have a purge valve uh, for the entire system. So if something happens and it builds up too much pressure, uh, that will automatically kick off and it will drain out. <clears throat> now here's something that I uh, ended up putting in. It's a pressure and temperature gauge. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in there. I'm only, push, I'm only having about 12 pounds of pressure in the system. And uh, it's reading about 120 degrees. Uh, for the uh, hot water that's going in. So hopefully that helps. Um, certainly if you've got further questions, uh, I'd be happy to respond to them. But again, I've got two manifolds. Uh, so there's the top one, and then there's the bottom one there. That uh, This bottom one, I don't have all of them used, so I've got three open uh, circuits there that uh, just didn't need, but uh, I wanted to get the same size manifolds. So again, hopefully that helps. If you've got any further questions, please feel free to put them in the comments or send me a message. Thanks.